intro. Wow. Oh, teacher. Wow, where are you, teacher? Hello, hello. How are you guys? Where are you now? A uh, new location, teacher. Can yes, we can hear you. Yes, how about you? Perfect. Yes, but not here. And maybe are the headphones. Yeah, I think something in the configuration of the headphones, but don't worry. I got okay. my backup plan. Okay. Are you in your house? Nope. Well, no, if you can hear me, I can keep on because I got the the the, the speaker phones are the ones from the No, because the the the, uh, the location is it your house? location. <laughs> we can hear you now. No. Silent micro. Ah, because your microphone is up. Ah, Microsoft. Okay, let's see. Microphone. Now? Yeah. Yes. Okay, no, it's just that I'm like working on the configuration of this thing. But uh, the volume, I need to pump it up. Pump it up, pump it up, pump it up. Yep. Like the like, like the, the song of No, there was there was a blackout. <laughs> blackout in my house in my neighborhood yeah so what is a blackout teacher sorry apagón oh really like yesterday yep and in that neighborhood the problem is okay. what the, the, the transformator is the problem. Ah, okay, okay. Es puntual, how do you say it? Punctual? Ah, it's punctual, the, the, the fail. Yep. Okay. Yeah, but uh, it's a problem. Right now I need to report that I'm in a different location. Have you ever sent a message by WhatsApp? We are ready, guys. Oh, no, I haven't. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I need to contact everybody. As I told you, I just came here to install. Uh, let's see. It is time. <laughs> no, uh, I just came here and, you know, I installed myself because uh, the connection here the security is different and we have some situations also that I was dealing on the phone. I was driving and I was dealing with some bad news on the family. Oh, really? So Yeah. Uh, you know, today in the morning, uh, my uncle passed away. And today in the afternoon, that uncle's niece, that would be my niece, passed away too. What happened? Well, my uncle, he was sick. Uh, he had a, a, a insufficiency and, uh. and he spent a month in the hospital. His lungs collapsed. Uh -huh. pulmones collapsaron, uh -huh. And he died today. And what about your niece? Uh, they live in El Tunco in a, in a thunder. Uh, well, no, como decimos rayo? Thunder? Yeah, thunder yes. strike her. Like oh, wow, teacher. Rayo la mató. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that happened today in the afternoon. This storm uh -huh. that just passed, la tormenta que pasó. Yes. Yes, because it, I guess it, it was a electric Third. Yeah, so tomorrow I need to go because tonight there's no chance. I need to teach the class and I need to upload the class. Tomorrow morning I need to teach another class. And so perhaps tomorrow at night I have to go because uh, I mean the, the, the mother of this lady is my cousin and uh, I have always been close to them. Hemos sido cercanos. And how old well, how well are she, your niece? How old was she? Ah, how old well like, was, well, sorry, how old well was she? Like 20. 
Oh, come on, teacher. Yeah. She was younger. Yeah. She was a kiddo. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, chica. yeah, yeah. It's, and I mean, and for the family, it's a, it's a big hit because, uh, you know, in the same day, two members of the same family. Yes. Uh, so it's, uh, I mean, they, they just buried my, my uncle, recién enterraron a mi tío when she died. Yeah, like an like an hour of difference. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but you know, that's life. Yes. Yeah, we can do nothing against those things. No podemos hacer nada en contra de ello. No. So we just need what we need to do is to be strong for the for the ones who are there. Debemos de darles motivación a los que quedan. Because it's not easy. It's hard. But anyway, so what about you, Vladimir? How was your day? Tell me. Good teacher. We have good news today. Oh, really? My boss, yes, my boss uh, is the new manager, but officially. Oh, really? She was in Terina, how do you say it? Yeah, an interim. She was interim, but today she was the officially manager for I for innovation IT oh, at Central Bank. That's cool. Good news, yes, because she she's very 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 good with me. Yeah, no, and besides to have the position officially assigned can be can have benefits for the department. Yes, the actually. She told me that she wants to help me for grow out because I told you the last time I need the master and speak English, right? Yep. But she, uh, are you viewing me? She saw in me. She saw in me that I, I try it. I, I, I learned that you're, English. That you are doing your best. Yes, yes, uh, I learned English, I'm starting master. So she, she's, she's, going, she's going to talk with human resource. And I don't know if it, was, if, it was, if it will be possible. And the master, uh, how do you say in this, in deseable? Uh, deseable. Uh -huh. Mm, mm, mm. I told you in Spanish. Hay dos tipos de, de maestría. Cuando le quieren ayudar, le ponen deseable. Pero uh -huh. cuando es la mayoría de concursos, le ponen indispensable. O sea, que usted la tiene que tener. Pero ella me dijo que va a hablar con los de recursos humanos porque ha visto mi esfuerzo y para que le pongan indispensable. Eh, perdón, para que no le pongan indispensable, sino que le pongan deseable y pueda participar en la clase. Ok. Desirable. Well, desirable. Ah, desirable, yes. Hey, yes. that's cool. Congratulations. Yes. Let's hope everything goes okay. Espero yes, thank you. And, thanks, that's, and if it happens, it's a big compromise for you. Yes, I need to to end both of them. English. Yes. To finish, to finish both of them. English and master. Yeah, and also to 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 keep to continue doing a good job. Yes. Yeah, better. Because, yeah, because <laughs> better job. Because <laughs> when they when they help you like that, I mean you pay back with your with your work. Yes. Yes. And your commitment. Uh, commitment. Compromiso. Ah, okay. Yes, it it will be my commitment. Yeah, that's that's the way how we pay back when they trust when they put that type of trust in us. Yes. Yeah, it's it's good, congratulations. Let's hope everything goes okay. Okay, thanks teacher. You're welcome. Let's see, there's Edwin. Edwin, hello, how are you? Hello teacher. So-so, um, relaxed day. Relaxed day? Yeah. Maybe. This day is my day off. 
Oh, really? Yeah, that's uh, true. But you got to work tomorrow, right? Eh, yeah, eh, pero me partieron el horario. How so? For the, ¿Cómo así? Eh, for the morning, eh, taste driver, driving. Okay. Eh, depend, 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 dependiendo la hora que salga. Depending. Depending. On the time I finish. Time I finish. On the time I finish. Eh, me presento a trabajar. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, because you're going to take the test. That's cool. The test is easy. That thing is easy, cheesy. Eso es lo más fácil del mundo. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I am... Nervous? Very, very, no, very bad for exams. Oh, don't worry. But, uh, <laughs> Yo soy you, malo para todo que es examen. You ha, have you studied? Sorry? Have you studied? ¿Ya estudió? Yeah. You know, when I was young, when I was younger, well, no, when I was young, cuando yo era joven, when I was young, yeah, let's accept reality. Yeah. When I was young, I had that problem. I got, I used to get very nervous whenever, whenever I was going to take a test. If I was going to present a test, I was always nervous. You present tests or you take tests. Okay. Okay. So yeah. whenever I was going to present a test, I used to get very nervous. You know what really helped me? Not to overstudy. In my case, if I studied too much, I get confused. Uh, yeah. That, and... that affects me. I mean, if I'm like in a class, in my case, what I do is I understand during the class. Oh. I don't usually take notes. No suelo tomar notas. Like uh, what? Well, in the university, I never took notes. Yo nunca tomé <laughs> notas. Uh, in my case, it works like that. I mean, I'm in the class. I pay attention to the class. I understand the class. That's it. But that's yeah. how my brain works. Así me funciona mi mente. I mean, I, to tell you the truth, for the for the university, I never studied for a test. Durante no. la universidad nunca estudié para un examen. But uh, now I see my son. In my son's case, it's different. He memorizes everything. El memoriza todo. No. And, one, and once he's in, he doesn't forget. In my case, uh, well, young, young boy? Younger? Young. young, young. Eh, me dormí en los exámenes. Uh, no. Me de... Something else that happens to me is this. If I'm taking a test, I read the question, I read the options, I choose the option, and I don't think about it no more. Eh, leo, escojo, y ya no la analizo más. Because if I do, I start doubting. Si lo hago, comienzo a dudar. Yeah. So I try not me to. Me desvelaba y me daba sueño. Nah. <laughs> Estudiando. Yeah. <laughs> so what I mean, what I was trying to tell you, lo que trataba de decirle, is this. Whenever yeah. you are studying, you need to yeah. look, I mean, all of us got our personal style. Todos tenemos un estilo personal of learning. Because yeah. our minds process information in a different way. And that's normal. Cada uno de nosotros procesa información de maneras diferentes. And that's completely normal. I mean, todos tenemos este, aptitudes y habilidades de aprendizaje distintas. And that's due to the cognitive development of the brain. So that's normal. What you have to do is look at what works for you. Vea qué es lo que le funciona a usted. Yeah. Sí. You have to look for what really, really works for you and organize the time when it is better for you to study. Cuando es mejor para usted estudiar. 
You can identify, you know yourself. Usted se conoce a sí mismo. You can identify at what time of the day it's easier for you to understand or to get the information. ¿En qué momento le es más fácil sentarse, leer? If you are the type that needs to read more than once. Yeah. If you just read one time. So, I usually uh, study in bus. In the bus. In the bus. Uh, with, cuando salgo de velado, de velado no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Okay, when I haven't slept. Slept. When I haven't slept. When I haven't slept. Yep. Yeah, because uh, it's mm, sleeplessness. The word is a kind of a, a complex. La palabra es un poquito compleja. Si la, if we type it, let me get it for you. The word goes like this. La palabra es así. Okay, let me see. Like this. Sleeplessness. Eso es desvelo. Ah. That's when you haven't slept at all. Esto es cuando usted no ha dormido. Sleeplessness. Sleepness. Less quiere decir. Lessness. Sleep es dormir. Less yeah. es el sufijo para decir menos. Ah. El yeah. ness es otro sufijo para decir mucho menos. Entonces mucho es menos. menos menos sueño. Ah. Es decir, menos menos dormir. ¿Ok? Yeah, okay. That's sleeplessness. Sleeplessness. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This. Eh, se me hace más fácil. Cuando voy en el bus, pongo a leer, voy tranquilo, escuchando música y leyendo. Yeah. For me, when I have to read, si debo leer, instead of if I want to read, si quiero leer, I don't need nothing. I can be sitting in the middle of a lot of people and I don't need nothing. Yo puedo sentarme en medio de un montón de gente hablando and I don't need nothing. If it's really interesting for me, si es algo que me interesa. If I have to, si tengo que leer, uh, man, for me, what works for me is uh, Maiden, Metallica. Yeah. Halloween. <laughs> yeah, something Ghost. like that. Something like that. Something that isolates me from the rest of the people. Yeah. That's when I need to concentrate. It's like when I need to type information, I am listening to heavy music. Yeah. Well, it's been interesting talking to you, Edwin. Thank Thanks, you. Peter. Welcome. Mr. Walter Ruiz. Hello. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I find, give me a minute, teacher. No problem, no problem. There's Sonia. Sonia wants to talk to us. Sonia, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Sonia. How are you? I'm fine. Mm, voy manejando. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell. I can listen to you differently. Le escucho diferente. Okay, sí, just, me just listen. Celular, pero... No problem, no problem. Let me know when you get home. Solo nos avisa cuando llegue. Let's see, let's see. What about you, Alfonso? You home? Yes, Hi, Alfonso's home. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. How was your day, Alfonso? Oh, he's very tired. My day, teacher. Oh, really? Yes. Why? For because um, because finisher the installation of the machine in project new. Oh, really? Yes. In the new project. In the new project. In the new project. Sorry, teacher. Eh, pero, ¿cómo es para decir el intemperie? Mm, mm. In the open. What? In the open. Ah, in the, in the open. Okay, so you are like, you got the sun, yes. <laughs> Sunborn. Yes. Sunborn, requemado. Sunborn, yes. Uh, acá, 
Quiero ver un poco cambio de color. Yeah, yeah, that change, happens, change that color. happens. <laughs> ok, just give me a second, just give me a second. Ok. Don't go, don't go, no se me vaya. Okay, let's see. So you are working. Oh, yes. You told me yesterday that you are going to help in the new project, right? Yes. In the other weeks. Uh, Next week? Next or the week, following uh, weeks, las próximas o la próxima? Próxima. Okay, the next week. The next next week. Yes. And other project. Another project? Yes. Oh, Another that's project. cool. Y es, es el que le comenté la semana pasada. From the sea. other location. Yes. The location yeah. is in El Escalón, me parece. Yeah. Que, yeah. Yeah, you told me, you told me. Well, that's cool. That's excellent. It's always good to be busy. Very yeah. interesting. Thank you yeah. very much, Alfonso. You're welcome, teacher. Let's see. There's Susana. Hello, Susana. Hi. How are you? I'm good. You're good? Okay, that's nice. Tell me, yes. please, Susana, I need you to please explain to me how was your day? Tell me. Well, my day was very relaxed. Oh, really? Yes, yes. That's yes. excellent. What yes. activities did you do today? Well, I am, I am, I work, but little. Okay, you work, but a little. a little bit. Yes, a little bit, yes. You working from yes. home or you went to the office? No, today in my house. Oh, that's nice. Home yes, office. Because, uh, yes, home office. And um, so I I took advantage. Let me text it for you. Yes. So you can repeat with me, okay? Okay. It's like this because it's the verb take, but in past, I took advantage like this i took advantage okay i took advantage for clean for cleaning ah for cleaning remember susana i told you the other day <laughs> ing in the verb if we place it after the word for okay yes for cleaning so you took advantage of staying home for cleaning the house that's yes. cool so yes, you are yes. tired today? No, because I only say my chick, my child. Do that. You do that. Okay. Okay. I told my kids. I, I told my kids. So you were okay, Susana. You were ordering. Listen to me. <laughs> you were ordering your kids around. Let me see. Oops. You were ordering your kids around. Well, that's cool. You know, once in a while, it's cool. Yes. Yes. It's Excellent. nice. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much, Susana. Okay. The Phoenix teacher. Perfect. Walter, hello. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Tell me, how was your day, mister? Mm, this is a with many change to all assignments. Oh, really? Yeah. So, and how did how did the situation in customs go? Everything went fine? Yeah. Well, everything is fine. Only tomorrow it uh, had many change. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. And tell me, what are the plans for the weekend? Mm, let me see... I think that listen, listening to depressing music. <laughs> All Saturday. Listening to depressing music. Metal depressing. Oh, okay. Like Doom? No. Depressing me melodic. Melodic. Oh, yeah. But if you are talking about depressive, uh, what? Theatry of tragedy? No, it's more 
the name of the root is very extreme is if Yara. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. I don't know that say to me that, that song, but I love the rhythm. The rhythm. The rhythm. 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 Like that. Perfect. Well, it's quite interesting. Yeah. So enjoy your weekend, Walter. Don't yeah. forget to work in the platform. Hey, I finished the four hours. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Congratulations. I like that. Yeah. Teacher, sure. cool. this yes. day I had I had the idea to build my house with pure containers. I made these three levels. It's very cheaper. It's cheaper to, to build up to build up your house out of containers. Yeah. Yeah, in the States, uh, well, I was watching a project the other day that they are building up uh, even swimming pools out of containers. Cool. Ah, uh, yeah. It's very but cool. But my house only had uh, containers, five containers. <laughs> That's nice. It's very well, cheaper. <laughs> it's cheaper. It's, it's cheaper. cheaper. It's cheaper. Well, that's interesting. Quite interesting, actually. Yeah. Well, mister, as I told you, enjoy your weekend. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. Today, as I told you, we need to work with some activities. We are going to make, uh, first of all, a review of the topics, the topic we are being covering this week. We have been working with the present continuous, but if you remember, we make comparison between present continuous and simple present. We use uh, present continuous in order to express future. Oh, yes, Vladimir, you're right. I need to take the attendance right now. I was just waiting for more people to connect, but I don't see nobody. Alfonso Antonio Cabrera, say present, please. Present, you sure? Thank you, Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo, Berta Maritza Molina de Villalta, Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro López, Daisy Elizabeth Celaya Gómez, Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras, Present, teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina, Ivani Elizabeth Rodríguez, Karen Lisset García, Luis Armando Leiva. Present, teacher. Thank you, Mr. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla. Hey. It's around. Oscar Armando Rodríguez. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monge. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Thank you. Susana Carolina okay. Hernández Iraeta. Present. Thank you. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present, teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Here, Walter Jose Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Hey, we're missing Walter Arana. He's usually here. Many work. A lot of work? Yeah. Oh, really? Wow, but he needs to connect. He's yeah. He's absent for yeah. a couple of classes. But uh, maybe that balance sheet, I don't remember that say. The balance sheet? Maybe I don't remember very good. Okay, yeah, but uh, I mean, he needs to connect. Remember that uh, Insaforp asks for a minimum of connections. And in the case of Arana, let me see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. He's missed a couple of classes. Yeah, me perdí un par de clases. Okay, let's see. Well, let's continue. We're going to talk to him. Mañana le llamamos. Let's continue. And let's remind everybody that they still got time. Recordémosles a los demás que todavía tienen tiempo. Just give me a second. Oh. 
Okay, guys, now let's see, oh, man. Today, for today, the activities, we will have a conversation because we have one conversation here in the in the manual. We are going, today we are going to work with the manual, okay? Just let me check. There was a homework, right? Teníamos una tarea, verdad? No, teacher. There was no homework? Yeah, no. No, no, no. No, no. no. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> you scare us. <laughs> Take it easy, sir. Okay, okay. Oh. Okay. 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 There was one conversation that we didn't do. Hay una conversación que no hicimos. Yes, I remember. In page number 35. Rita, Rita and Luis. Yes, that conversation, we didn't do it. Esa conversación. You only send it by WhatsApp, teacher. Yes, but we haven't done it. Yes. Let's practice it right now. Okay. Let me share with you. Because it's always good to practice vocabulary. And there's new vocabulary there. Siempre bueno que practicar el vocabulario. Y ahí tenemos vocabulario nuevo. So let's do it. We are going to make it fast. Okay. I'm going to pronounce it for you. Then I'm going to project it here and I'm going to ask you to do it, okay? Give me a second. Okay, the conversation goes like this. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Okay. One more time. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year. And where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, guys, I want to hear people pronounce it. Alfonso and Luis Armando. Alfonso, you will start. <clears throat> Luis, good afternoon. This is Frida, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Alfonso. Sure, tell me. I want to I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it is it taking place? Well the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita or Alfonso, sorry. Okay. By the way, when are when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Yes, they are, are, are raving on Friday morning. Morning. Okay. Arriving, arriving. Okay. Arriving. 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 Annual, annual conference. Okay, let's see. Next, I want Susana and Walter Ruiz. Susana, you are Rita. Susana. 
Susana. Hi, I have a problem with the mouse. Okay. Okay. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita. Sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is the talking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is, is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it, yes. They are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Excellent. Elwin and Vladimir. Elwin, you will start, please. Hey, teacher. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita. Sure. Tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rira, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are ar arriving on Friday morning. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Excellent, guys. Questions about the vocabulary? What is IT staff? Vladimir, tell me. Is the people that works on technology information, information okay. technology. Okay, information technology. Technology. Excellent, thank you. Uh, yes, in tell Spanish, me. In Spanish, mean informatica. Yeah. Así decimos. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. Oops. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, now, let's see guys. Today we are going to use present continuous for temporary situations at the workplace. Okay, temporary situations. Let's see, when we talk about temporary situations, hello lady in black. Who disconnected? Quien se me desconectó? Yo, del celular. Pero... Okay, okay. And you are the lady in black. Yes. Let's see. Uh, what was I telling you guys? Okay, yes, I remember, I'm sorry. When we talk about temporary situations or temporary activities, is that we are talking about uh, some activities that are happening in your company, but they are not routine are situations that are happening like for a few period of time, a short period of time, a few days, perhaps, okay? Like imagine uh, you got an audit. Imagínense que tienen una auditoría. You say, oh, we are having an audit these days. Estamos teniendo una auditoría estos días, these days, okay? That activity, perhaps, uh, imagine that I tell you right now, you know, in my job, we are preparing and implementing the, we are preparing the new protocols for the kids to go back to school. We are preparing the new protocols. Estamos preparando los nuevos protocolos. That activity, right now, I am teaching you. En este preciso instante, yo les estoy dando clase a ustedes. I am not preparing the protocols. I am doing that in the morning. Estoy haciendo eso por las mañanas. Okay? And tomorrow is a Saturday. I'm not going to work, to work there. No iré a trabajar ahí. So, how do we use the expression? ¿Cómo estoy usando la expresión? When I say in these days, en estos días, that means that I am expressing, I am applying the term for a period of time. But that that activity is going to end soon. It's not a long activity. No es una actividad super larga. It has a limit. Okay, tiene un límite. 
For expressing those temporary situations, we use present continuous, okay? Like imagine that, you know what? Edwin told me the other day that he's dating a new lady. Listen to the sentence. Sorry, Edwin, it's not true. It's not true. He hasn't told me nothing like that. Okay, it's just an example. Listen to my sentence. I told you that Edwin told me that he is, listen, that he is dating a new girl. Okay, let me share the sentence with you. Like this. Edwin told me that he is dating a new girl. Right now, he is in class. Okay? He's not out on a date. En este momento, le está en clase. No está en una cita. But if you see, I am using the present continuous to express an action or a situation that is temporary. Okay? Esa situación puede cambiar, puede finalizar. Or it can develop into something else. O puede convertirse en algo distinto. But it's a temporary situation. So remember, I am using present continuous to express a temporary situation. It's like uh, Susana told me that, imagine Susana that her activity, today it was cleaning day. But imagine that she didn't finish today. Imagínese que ella no terminó ahora. And she has like a, a project in her house that she's going to, to redecorate the whole house. Ella va a redecorar toda la casa. Okay? So she says, imagine that somebody calls her. Alguien de su familia le llama. And they tell her, hey, Susana, what are you doing? And she says, oh, you know what? Oh, they, they ask her, o le preguntan, what's new? Okay, de nuevo. And she says, oh, you know what? We are redecorating the house. We are redecorating the house. She's using present continuous. Está utilizando presente continuo. She says, we are redecorating. Estamos redecorando. Ese es presente continuo. But the action is not happening in the moment that she's talking. Okay? It's happening in a period of time. It's like Edwin, you know, guys? Edwin is preparing her, himself for the test tomorrow. Okay, he's preparing himself for the test that he is going to present tomorrow. El mañana presenta el examen de manejo, driving test. So he's studying, uh, he's remembering to wear the belt, to check out his mirrors, his rear view, rear view mirrors. Okay. Remember the, the directional signals, always remember those are extra points, okay? So he's trying to keep all of that into his mind. But in this moment, he's not preparing for the exam. In this moment, he's here in the class with us. Alfonso, he is working in a new project in his company, right? But not in this exact moment. Pero no en este preciso instante. And we are using present continuous. And you tell me, okay, so present continuous is for what? Okay, we use it for three activities. First, I told you, primero le dije, present continuous is used for something that is happening right in the moment you are speaking. You use present continuous also for something that is happening in the future, but when you are talking about a plan, an arrangement, se usa el presente continuo para algo que sucede en el momento que se dice, para un plan o algo que ya está planeado, and for temporary situations in the present. Situaciones temporales en el presente, ¿ok? It's like uh, perhaps in December you, in December you know that companies they place uh, some companies they place an ad. We are hiring. Estamos contratando, right? And that situation perhaps is not just one day. It's a period.
period of time. Okay, is there any question? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta? Is it clear? ¿Vamos bien hasta acá? Yep. Cool. Let's see. Vamos a ver. First of all, we are going to work with a conversation, but no. First of all, I'm going to ask you. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. No, Sonia is munching. So, Susana. Hi. Tell me, Susana, tell me something that something that you are doing or perhaps something that is happening in your company nowadays. Oh, well, we are prepared for uh, ending month. It's very important. We are preparing. Yes, I say that. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't preparing. hear you. Okay. We are preparing for the end month. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because... And it's very important, you told me. Yes, yes, for all the for all the company. For the whole company. Okay, for the whole company. Yes, let me take the word for the whole company. Like this, for the whole company. Uh, whole company. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay, let me see. I got distracted. Me distracted algo. Thank you very much, Susana. So they are preparing for the end of month. That's excellent. Okay. So what about you, Vladimir? What is happening in your company nowadays? Nowadays, where? where? Your wife is arriving. No problem. Later, 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 later. No, no. Okay. okay. Uh, we are celebrating the ascenso. What do you say, ascenso? Ascending. Uh, no. Yes, but that's uh, to the sky. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, no. Yes, yes, yes. What you mean is, uh, how do I say this? Mm. What you mean is the promotion, the promotion. Okay. We are celebrating the promotion of my boss because I told okay. you she... Vladimir, remember, my boss's promotion. Okay, we are celebrating my boss's promotion. Perfect. Excellent, thank you very much. What about you, Edwin? Tell me something that is happening in your company. Mm. Where... Well... Celebrating birthday? Whose birthday? Uh, your, no, the, your co worker. Oh, really? That's cool. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Sonia, what about you? Tell me what is happening in your company. What is happening? ¿Qué está sucediendo? Tell me some an activity cuando decimos ah okay um, como con mi equipo de trabajo como digo with my team with my team yes with my team prepare um, we are preparing uh, we are preparing Okay. Yes, you always give me long, long, long sentences. Okay. Okay. Preparing the sí las condiciones, preparing the but um, no es o sea, este información caso. a los involucrados, procesos, logística. Te estamos viendo cómo sí lo vamos a lograr, pero no sé cómo decirlo. Okay, okay, okay. 
the terms, the terms. En este caso me está hablando de terms. The terms. Yes. ¿Qué sería? Condiciones, pero está hablando no solamente, es una palabra que envuelve condiciones, pero también términos. Preparing the terms. Okay. Sí, no sé si me explico. Preparing. Cuando digo que estamos preparando los términos, sí. I mean, in English it makes sense. En inglés sí tiene sentido. We are preparing the terms for the, or the conditions, the terms and conditions, for the, for a new project, for a client. No, for a new for a new project that is going to be uh, developed for Easter <laughs> or just one client, like that. Uh -huh. okay. cool. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia. Thank you. Solo la risa, Edwin, de Yeah, yeah. Really, really long sentences. That's terrible. <laughs> Eso okay. está más bien. Cool. No, it's always good. It's always good because we get into technical vocabulary. And technical vocabulary is something very, very special. And that's always yes. excellent when we can practice specifically related to your working areas. Let's see. Thank you very much, Sonia. What about you, okay. Alfonso? Tell me. What is happening in your company nowadays? <clears throat> Uh, for different different areas in my company, teacher. In my okay, area but in your area, project. in my area is the new project. The next week, the installation okay. for elevator. Elevators, yes. Okay. Cars, elevators, cars, elevators. No, no. No es, no es, eh, no es esa máquina, es oh. elevator normal. Es el oh, really? Normal. Yes. That's cool. Those machines got some nice technology. Es small, eh, es, es, eh, tienen muchas áreas. Yeah. My company. Yeah, but. For, but for that... example, for example, eh, elevator, eh, lo, los elevadores normales. Regular, regular elevators. Re regular. 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 Like that. Regular, okay. <laughs> regular. Uh, uh, sorry, DJ. <laughs> you were telling me the different areas that you got. Oh, you got yes, regular yes. elevators. Eh, eh, lo, ¿Cómo se llaman? Los, esos son los elevadores regulares. Los. The, the car elevator. Ok. Is this others? What others? Um, the con, eh, area, the, con, the construction. Ok, construction area. Yeah, construction. So area. you are in the whole maintenance department. Uh, my department is uh, the maintenance. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, regular elevators are cool. They got beautiful technology. I like it. Yes, uh, para decir de uh, una marca en específica. A brand, a specific brand. And a, bra a specific brand. And a, and a specific brand is the Cone o con, creo, me parece. Es, mar, es mexicana la marca. Ok, well. The elevator. That's cool. Be careful. Sorry, Be teacher. careful. Tengan cuidado. Ah, <laughs> ok. This is a new project. Uh, the, the next week, uh, the installation, the elevator. Ok, next week, we are installing the elevators. Next week, we are installing. We are installing the elevators. The elevators. In this case, thank you very much, Alfonso. In this case, if you notice, si nos fijamos, I applied a time expression. I said next week. 
Entonces, ¿qué estaba expresando, guys? Tell me. A temporary situation, something that is happening in the moment or future? Future. Future. Okay. Why was it a future, Vladimir? Sorry? Why was it in future? ¿Por qué era en futuro? Uh, because he was he was using installing uh, elevators, I guess. It was future, yes, but it was future because I said next week and ah, it's yes. a plan. Y es un plan. Remember that we are talking about plans, okay? Plans. Yes. Plans or arrangements. Arrangements. Excellent. Okay. Okay. That's right. Let's see. Okay. Everything cool. Okay. Well, 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 thank you very much. Let's see who else is around. Walter Ruiz, tell me something that is happening in your company. Mm, I had the new drugs in the office. Okay. Uh, may, uh, five trucks. Okay, and what are you going to do with the trucks? ¿Qué van a hacer con esos trucks? The other, the other with the insult G, GPS. Okay, we are installing GPS yes. in new trucks. We are installing GPS in new trucks. Perfect. Thank but you. I'm yes, not, tell me. I'm not sure. I'm sorry? I'm not sure because I had problems in gym. You had a problem in the gym? In gym. Motor? Oh, engine. 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 The engine, el motor. The engine. Oh. I let maybe the numbers of mod of, of engine. Oh really? Oopsie. Yeah. That's a problem. Yeah. That's a problem because you are talking, I mean, if you are talking about the number, there's a problem with the registration. Maybe had a change of, of engine. Yeah, that some people do that. They change the engine and they did, don't follow the process. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. It's going to be a problem. Yes. Well, interesting. Thank you very much. Okay, teacher. Okay, guys, let's continue. Let's go to the conversation part. Okay. We have a big conversation ahead of us. Tenemos una gran conversación and I'm going to present it to you. Let me just share. Where is it? Right here. Perfect. And we need to stop the video so you can get it clearer. And I'm gonna take the picture. The conversation goes like this. Listen up, guys. It says, Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I'm okay. Well, I'm working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own, you know? I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Listen one more time. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English 
is essential at the workplace these days. I know, a colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own, you know. I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. I will read one more time. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Eber. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own, you know. I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Okie dokie. Wow. It was. It is long. Before we, before I divide you into groups, please, guys, I need to take the attendance one more time. Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Present teacher. Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo. Present teacher. Berta Maritza Molina Villalta absent. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro Lopez absent. Daisy Elizabeth Celaya Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present teacher. Thank you, Evelyn. Ivania Elizabeth Rodriguez Ramos. Not yet. Karen Lisette Garcia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar is present. Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez. Absent. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monge absent. Roxana Claribel Trejo de Pérez absent. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present. Thank you. And Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present teacher. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. No here. Walter Jose Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Excellent, guys. Now let me divide you in groups so we can do the practice of the conversation. Let's see. Okay, groups are created. I just need to, 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 to. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, just give me a second. I need to, okay, this is it. Perfect. Please, guys, jump in. Project. Also, I am talking an English course today. How about you? That sounds great. What a, con a coincidence. 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 That sounds great. That's a coincidence. And also talking an English course. The English is essential. Of the workplace is I, I don't know. So coincidence. Also coincidence. Coincidence. Oh, yes. Thank what you. a coincidence. Co what a coincidence. And also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace this day. I know. 
a colleague who completed the course. A colleague. A colleague who completed the course is taking and train training in English this day. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Results. Ah, results. 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 Great. Well, I'm going doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. Exercises. They help a lot. Okay. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Doing this day. I'm okay. Well, I am working on the new projects and also I am talking an English course this day. How, are, how about you? Taking, Sonia. Taking. taking. I see taking in an English course, cierto? An English course. Yes, an English course. Course, okay. Like that. Oh, oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen to me. Course, 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 course. If you say course, <clears throat> si dice course, eso uh -huh. es, eh, es esta palabra, mire. Eso es, uh -huh. um, I'm sorry, quiero ver, ¿se la envía a usted o a quién? Uh -uh. No, no. ¿A quién se la envía? A mí. A Sandra. Sandra. I'm sorry. Is this word? Quiere decir maldición. Es, ah. es maldecir, pero con palabras. Mm, mm. Ah. Ok, dos. Entonces es course. Like that. Oh, by the way, this is a bomb. What you did is a bomb. Okay. That's a bomb. Ya, ya, ya hoy es viernes en mi casa, ya. Relax. Me lo merezco, me lo merezco. Ok, a bomb. Ah, a bomb. Me lo merezco, ¿cómo es? <ríe> ¿Cómo I deserve dice? it. I deserve it. Ok. Cool. I deserve it. See you, ladies. Okay. Course. Okay. This day, how about... Hello, guys. Hi, Hello. Teacher. You finish? Practice switching? Yes, um, no. Ahorita estamos en eso, teacher. Let me hear you, please. Déjame escuchar. Okay. Okay. Hello, ever. What are you doing this doing, day? Doing these days. These days. Okay. I am okay. Well, I am working on a new, on a new project. And also, I, I am talking in English, an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am coincidence. also coincidence. 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 Like that. Perfect. Okay. Coincidence. I am also talking. An uh, English taking, course taking take, taking an English course English uh, in essentials at the workplace Thursday. I know. Essential, essential, essential. Okay. I know. A uh, college colleague. League. Colleague. Colleague. Colleague, a colleague who completed the course in the taking is taking is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own. You now. I am reading novels reading. to have reading novels to have. Uh, better results. Results. 
results. Okay. Great. Will, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Okay. I am star. Uh, yes. Another, another teacher? Yeah, why not? Okay. You still got two minutes. Todavía tienen dos minutos. Perfect. Okay. Hi, you Bert. Long... Hi, Bert. Long time no see. Uh, how are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working a new project and also I am taking an English course. There's day. How about you? For a coincidence, I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own, you know. I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Okay. Completed, I... Evelyn. Completed. 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 Esa T como R. Completed. Completed. Y la D al final no suena. Com completed. Ah, como L. No, no, no. It sounds. Suena lo de completed. Completed. Okay. Com I start. England. Así como está escrito. Mm -hmm. Don't... Ladies, I'm Teacher. sorry to interrupt you. Yes, Sonia? Eh, es, um, tenemos una duda. ¿Dónde estaba Sandra? England. 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 Entre ellos. England. Yes, like that. England. 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 El sonido de la I es súper corto después de la E. England, England. England. I'm England. sorry to interrupt you. Perdón que las interrumpa. Sandra, according to my program, I have you for tonight. Sandra, de acuerdo a mi programa, la ten, tengo 10 minutos para usted este día. Este, ¿Se va a quedar? ¿O necesita que le reprograme? Um, ¿A qué hora la tengo, Tiche? De 10 a 10. ¿Con 10? Ah, está bien. Está bien a esa hora. Porque ahora, ahora nos cambió, ya no nos quedamos este, hasta las 10.40, 10.50, solo son 10 minutos, right at the end of the class. En, este mismo, eh, en esta misma conexión, no necesita cambiarse, ¿ok? okay. Simplemente <risa> cuando todos digan bye, se me queda acá. Sí, gracias, Tiche. Ok. 60 seconds. Ok, gracias. Ok. Hi, bet. Long time. Ah, no, usted va, ¿verdad? Sí. Hi. I'm sorry, I'm no sorry. Remedio, teacher. It wasn't me, it wasn't me. Ah, it was teacher. the system. No, teacher. teacher what, what happened? I, teacher? I, what gave happened? You, I gave you 60 seconds, guys, but it was the system, the one who kicks you out. El sistema <laughs> lo sacó. Oh. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Let's see who's gonna start. Okay, group number one is Luis and Walter. Okay, teacher, who will start? You start, Walter. Luis Armando Leiva. Hello. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Ready. I'm sorry. Hi, I'm sorry. okay. Long time to see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am listening an English course this day. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A college who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am starting on my own. You know, 
I am re I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They ha they help a lot. Okay. Exercises, exercises, exercises. England, England, England. Perfect. Group number two. Thank you very much, guys. Group number okay. two is made up of Edwin, Daniel, and okay. Karen Lisette. Okay. Edwin, you start, please. Hey, teacher. Hi, Karen. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Edwin. What are you doing this day? Okay, well, I am working on your project. And also, I am taking an English course this day. How about you? That's so great. What I'm going to think. I'm also take, taking an in English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England this day. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I'm ready to novel to have better result. Great. Well, I'm doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Thanks. Exercises. Exercises. Okay, let's see. Next group is um, Elizabeth and Vladimir. Vladimir, you will start, please. Okay. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, David. What are you doing this day? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That's all great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace this day. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own, you know. I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Perfect. Just remember, Elizabeth, better, better. Better. Perfect. Thank you. Next group is uh, Alfonso and Arvin. Hi. Alfonso, Hi. you will start. Okay. Okay, teacher. Hi, Beth. Long time to see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing this day? Doing, doing these days. Doing these days. I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am talking in English course these days. Taking, taking. Taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace. There's there's days. Essential. Uh, essential. Okay. I know. A colleague. 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 Sorry, teacher. Colleague. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am standing on my own. You know, I am reading novels 
to have better results. Perfect. Better yes. results. Better results. Excellent, okay. guys. Better well done. Result. Well done. Well done. Next group is um, Susanna and Evelyn, please. <coughs> okay. Susanna, you start. Okay. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You're right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Perfect. Exercises. 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 Pristine, guys. Very well done. And let's see Sonia and Sandra. Please, Sonia, you are going to start. Okay. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am, I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I'm taking an English course this day. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence, I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace this, these days. I know a colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am starting on my own. You know, I am re reading novels to have better results. 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 Great. results. results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Excellent. Thank you very much. Just okay. let me see. There was a little something there. Uh, that sounds great, Sandra. That sounds great. That sounds sound. great. Sounds. That sounds great. Perfect. Thank yes. you. Thank now, you. let's see. Let's see, guys. We need to continue working and we are going to move along. Vamos a continuar. Okay, Mister? we are going to go. Yes, mister? Uh, I have a question. Tell me. Is, uh, what is the difference between an others and an others? Otro y el otro? ¿Cuál es cuál? Other, otro, another, algún otro o algo otro. Oh. Thank you, the, teacher. Okay, the difference is this, so you can get a clearer idea. Lo que sucede es que a nosotros en español, como lo hablamos y es normal para nosotros, no nos explican realmente cuál es la diferencia. Otro, let's see, este... Realmente usamos otro cuando desconocemos si hay la existencia de algo. Y, no, perdón, al revés. Cuando conocemos la existencia de algo y queremos escoger. Necesito, necesito otro par de audífonos. Este audífono no me gusta. You see? Necesito otro. Ok, I got another one here. Escucho. I got, tengo, another one here, algún otro, ¿ok? La diferencia es bien vaga. So, another, cuando usted dice another, eh, está diciendo algún otro, eh, préstame un suéter, hey, 
There's this one. Aquí está este. Do you have another? You get it? Okay, I'm sorry. My microphone went down. Just give me a second. You need another microphone. Okay. Okay, okay, yes. Now it's okay. I'm sorry. So, is there any other question? Is there any other question? No? Cool. Thank you. What about the rest of you guys? Mm. Everything's fine? Okay, let's continue. Let's continue, let's continue because we need to advance on this. Let me, right here. Okay, how to use present continuous for temporary situations. Use the present continuous for temporary situations. The expressions these days and at the moment are often used to emphasize the temporary aspect of the activity. Examples, I am reading a new book these days. This is a temporary activity because the person will finish reading the book. Remember, because the person will finish reading the book. Wendy is having a meeting at this moment. The meeting will finish sooner or later. We are taking an English course. The course will end. Okay, remember, the expressions these days and at the moment are often used to emphasize the temporary aspect of the activity. Remember, they emphasize the temporary aspect. So that's why I ask you, what is going on in your company these days? Okay, so we are talking about something that it's going to finish. Like in the example, it says, I am reading a new book these days. Okay, and it explains to us that this is an, a, a temporary activity because if you are reading a book, you are going to finish. You will finish soon. Wendy is having a meeting at this moment. Okay, it doesn't mean that the person is going to be in the meeting all the time. The meeting will finish, okay? It's like... You are having an English class at the moment, right? This is a temporary activity. Is happening right in this moment? Yes, but it will continue for another 35 minutes, right? So it's a temporary activity. Now, guys, now comes a different type of activity, an activity that we haven't like put into practice too much. And this activity is going to be common, a common de denominator for your following classes. We will start creating conversations. Okay? It's very simple. In all the activities, I always ask you, I propose a question and you ask the question, the other person answer and you report. Now, that part, you are going to do it as a role play, okay? You are going to create a conversation and role play the conversation for the class. Ustedes me van a crear una conversación y la vamos a representar para la clase. What is the conversation about? The activities that are happening at the moment at the company. Las actividades que están sucediendo en la compañía, okay? Simple, what we did at the beginning, do you remember? Lo que hacíamos al principio, ¿se acuerdan? I was asking some of you about those. Just don't ask Sonia, please. Solo no se les ocurra preguntarle a Sonia. You'll get in trouble. It's a long. Okay. Well, no, actually do it because she's the one who needs to explain. Viéndolo bien, sí, háganlo. Ella es la que necesita explicar. Because this is a conversation, okay? 
How do we do the conversation? Let's model it. Vamos a modelar. I need two volunteers. Please raise your hands. ¿Quiénes me levantan la mano? Hello. Hi. I'm sorry. Walter Ruiz is one. I need another one. Necesito uno más. Okay, I see the other microphone open. Ya vi el otro micrófono abierto. Thank you, Vladimir. You are the volunteer. Okay. Okay. Hello, Walter. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm just great. Hey, Vladimir. How's everything? Everything is good. How about you? Uh, I'm fine. Well, not that much. You know, right now we are preparing protocols at my workplace. And I hate that. And what's going on in your company, Walter? Uh, maybe mm, she knew it's uh, the new trucks. Oh, really? The, the company buy uh, eight trucks. You bought eight trucks? Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. What about you, Vladimir? Is there something new in your company? Uh, well, not much. Tomorrow we are going to work at maintenance from from a little servers in the other building. Okay. When on Saturday is your day off? Yes, but we when we have a, a maintenance, we we do it. We are doing. You have to Saturday. do it. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. You see, very simple. Si se dieron cuenta, la conversación fue larga, pero las preguntas fueron solamente like three. How are you? What's going on in your company? Very simple. That's what I need you to create, okay? And I'm going to divide you in groups. Any question about the activity? ¿Alguna pregunta con la actividad? No? Okay. Hello, Ivania. Ivania is visiting us. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, teacher, excuse me. No problem, no problem. Good evening. Good evening. Let me see the groups. Okay, let's see. You will have, as this is the first time we are doing this activity, you will have 10 minutes to do it, but 10 minutes exact. Van a tener 10 minutos, pero 10 minutos exactos. Ok. So, let me see. I'm going to, I need to create the groups, but I need to move someone. Ok. This is person is going to be here. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm sorry, guys. It's just that I'm checking how the groups are being left. Estoy revisando cómo quedan los grupos. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. 10 minutes exactly.
Okay, let's go check them groups. Um, and um, how about um, you? The work is filling up. El trabajo se está acumulando. <laughs> the work. That's the Don't correct worry. expression, peeling up. The working. The working is Philip. The work. The work. The work, the work is peeling up. up. Apilándose. Up. O acumulándose. Yes. Check in the okay. chat. Vean en el chat. Ya lo vi, ahí sí. Gracias. Thank you. Feeling. Thank you. Ok. What about you, Susan? Today. I have a busy day. I have a busy day. Ok. Uh, I have, no, pero tuve. I had. 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 Sí, H -A -D. D. H -A -D. H -A -D. Had. Okay. Had. Yes, I, I have. had. A tighter, a tighter day. Hello, teacher. teacher. Hello. <laughs> I have a question, teacher. Tell me. Eh, para decir lo más reciente. The most recent. The most. The most recent. The most recent. Most recent. Okay. Y more es de cantidad. No, the difference is this, Sonia. When you say more, you are making a comparison of superiority. Okay? But when you uh, say the most is the superlative. There's no more. Es el superlativo. No hay más allá. That's the tops. Okay? okay? That's the difference. So when you say the... I'm sorry. When you say the more... The most what? The most recent. You're saying the latest. Es el último. Okay? El más reciente de todos. Teacher. Uh, yes, Elizabeth. Uh, quiero saber si puedo ser correcto lo que puedo decir. Y Tell me. Que me ayude. Como decir, in my company is most activity for vacation. Okay. In my company... There's perhaps there. there is more movement. Hay más movimiento. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to send to all of you. There, there is more movement, or there are more activities. Okay, Elizabeth. Okay. Y in my case, como para adelantar trabajo, tipo de, digamos, digamos, tengo mucho movimiento por las actividades de vacaciones, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, si yo, digamos, Tengo exportaciones como más adelantadas, con días. Digamos que una exportación me toca, me cae el día de vacación. Entonces, ahorita yo estoy haciendo unos early, se llama en mi compañía. Early le dicen a, que hacen todo lo que va para esa temporada, lo adelantan. Sí, es que están diciendo eso. We have early. Está diciendo yeah, que es... We had early. Uh -huh. Sí. Está dando a entender que lo que ustedes tienen son este... Eh, uh -huh. eh, eh, aceleraciones. Eh, sí, han adelantado trabajo, tienen trabajo temprano. I mean, yes, in English it makes sense. En inglés sí tiene mucho sentido decirlo así. Que tienen trabajo uh -huh. temprano, previo, uh, adelantado, um, ahead. Yeah, early. 
Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. In my case, in my work is installing an automatic power plant of more cap or of more or of most capacity. Automatic. 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 No, automatic. Automatic. Que es una planta automática. Yes. It's automatic, but you say, automatic. in this case, you say automatic. Normalmente va a decir automatic, but in this case, you say automatic. Okay? Es, es por lo técnico, por lo técnico. Okay, of more capacity. Yes. So they are installing the plant and the transfer. The transfer is what takes time. Lo que lleva más tiempo es el transfer. Uh-huh. Pero es una planta eléctrica, es como para que el call center no quede protegido ante un apagón. Los call centers, ambos call yes, centers. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I know what you mean. I know okay. what you mean, exactly. I used to install them. Yo solía instalarlas. Ah, sí. Back in the days when I was young, cuando yo era joven, but I mean, big ones like, uh, grandes de unos, que, okay, six, eight meters. Seis, ocho metros. Uh -huh. I used to work arming them and installing them. Trabajaba ah, okay. armándolas, instalándolas, and connecting them. I used to yeah. work with a high voltage. Trabajé en, con alta tensión. So, I remember also creating, if you have that, you have to connect it. You must have a... a, a a bank of transformators. Deben de tener un banco de transformadores. Right? Y el transfer está uh -huh. entre el banco de transformadores, la, el flujo de CAES y la planta. Y la planta. Yeah, uh -huh. I remember. I still remember. Aún recuerdo. I was young at that time. Yeah, I, I work of so many things. He trabajado tanto un poco. Actually, that's one of the opportunities where I learn more English. Because my boss was an engineer and he spoke English. And the manuals, all the manuals were in English. So. Sí, casi todos los de tecnología lo hacen por eso. Yeah, I've been around, I've been around. He andado rebotando un poquito. You can see. Uh, um, teacher, how yes. do you say movimiento? Movement. Movement. Se lo escribí. Se lo escribí. Movement. No, sí, sí. Pero traducción, ¿cómo lo podría decir así? How movimiento. Do you say... No, perdón. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice? I don't get it. No lo entiendo. <laughs> Oh, how do you say? No, sí, 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 eso sí. How do you say, pero... ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Movement. Mom moment. Movement. 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 Move. Move. Vea mis dedos. Move. El, el sonido de la B se realiza, de la V se realiza con los labios entrecerrados más no cerrados y exhalando aire el aire va saliendo por la boca y es mu mu y la lengua no está al frente está un poco hacia atrás movement movement like that movement ok ok guys just two minutes two more minutes and that's it Con una actividad, es que si me pongo a explicar la yeah, otra... Yeah, yeah. No, 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 Sonia, no, Sonia. Just one, just one, just one. Tengo otra por ahí, no, pero no, no. No, 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 no. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Just one, por just one. Por eso la planta. That's okay, you just need one, okay? Come on. Thank you. Solo yo hablaba, solo yo hablaba en toda yeah, la clase. Yeah. No, 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 no. They need to participate too. Teacher, las preguntas las pasaron okay. en el grupo o a cada persona? No, sweetie, entre ustedes se van a preguntar, es una conversación. Ah, ok. Coma, I am celebrating my nephew's birthday. Give me a second. 
En el chat la puedes ver, brother. Ready, guys? Just a little. Just two minutes. Uh oh. We okay. are over time. Yes, but we have problem with my computer. My Zoom freezes and I need to close and open again. Sorry. Froze. Zoom froze. And my Zoom froze. I need to close it and open the game. Okay. Ta -da, ta -da. Bye. Sure. There is the comment. What happened? Karen <laughs> say, the last weekend the work is filling up. Evelyn say, what about you, Susan? Wow. I say, well, we're preparing the end of month for vacation. Karen says, yo puse en español. Says, <laughs> says. Ah, I, I say, what? Me perdí, I'm sorry. Karen says. Karen says, okay. Karen, you have, okay. Is the respond yes, the, the all Easter. Karen say hi, Mauricio. Elizabeth, says, hello, Mauricio. Says, says, I'm sorry, says. Mauricio says, yes, I am fine. See you later. I am hurry up. I'm sorry. Is, is, creo que les está participando Mauricio porque él tenía problemas de conexión. Sí, Ay, tiene problemas parece, todavía. Mauricio, por eso le pusimos solo esa línea por si se animaba. Sí, porque le está teniendo problemas de conexión, ¿ok? Ok. Se lo reemplaza. <ríe> si no puede hablar la ley. Ok. Ok. Karen C. Liz. Cuando descansas. When do you, when do you rest? And Luis, when do you rest? And Liz, when, when do you rest? O, o aplicará el res ahí. O, o siempre sería day off. No, day off, ¿verdad? Day, day you, tendría que ser. Sería un día de descanso. Day off. Vaya, entonces Luis. Yo respondo. ¿Qué? Eh, all weekend. <ríe> Yo, I, I rest. All weekend. All rest. All, all weekend. All weekend. All weekend, see. Ready, guys? Time's off. Oh. All yeah. Weekend. Okay. Solo una más para... Teacher, one problem. Yes, tell me. Mm, the, ¿Cómo puedes, cómo para decir la, la asistencia de las clases presenciales? Ah, yeah. Yo tengo problemas para hacerlo presencial. Oh. No podría continuar. When? This course? Yes, other course. Or another course. <laughs> oh, no, but some courses are going to continue online. Algunos cursos continúan en línea siempre. Ah, ¿en serio? Yep. Mm -hmm. This format is not changing. Este formato no está cambiando. Oh, perfect. I mean, perfect, teacher. They yeah. are, as far as I know, uh, según tengo entendido, they are opening... Eh, presenciales, but this continues, ok? Ah, perfect. Yeah, I'm At don't, finish. Don't worry, don't worry. This one, this uh, type 
this model is going to continue. Excellent. Yeah, I think I think you have chosen it because it's better for some of you. Me imagino que esto es mejor para algunos de ustedes. Yes. Sí, for example, yes. my class classmate, uh, algunos compañeros van a decir lo mismo. <laughs> yeah, no, no, but right now, the, I mean, que les han mencionado de presenciales también ya. No, teacher. No, no, no. Pregunta. No, no, no. <laughs> We continue like this. We continue like this. Don't worry. Don't worry. Es que si no sale, yo le comentaba a los compañeros. Sorry, in Spanish. Le comentaba a los compañeros de que de volverse presencial, yo recuerdo que había un horario de 6 a 8. Pero este horario es bien complicado para mí, por el sector donde se realizaba. Yo recuerdo en aquel entonces, a las 6 yo salgo de mi trabajo y a las 6 tendría que estar en el lugar para recibir la clase. A las yeah. 8 finalizara y el segundo bus que yo tomo para llegar a mi casa sale a más tardar 8 de la noche en, en horario normal. So you cannot make it. No lo logra. Yeah, mm -hmm. That happens. That happens. No, but don't worry. Don't worry. This, this format continues. Okay. Very good. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see, let's see who's going to, Evelyn, you are going to start. You and your group. Okay. okay. Uh, Susan, comparte, no. Ahí la tiene. En... Ahorita, ahí tenés un momento. Ahorita les comparto. Okay. Toda la pantalla. Perfect, perfect. Evelyn, mm. who are you, Karen? Ya, en un segundo. Ya, no, si no, empiezo. Okay. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Uh, no, who, how, how? Oh. Hi, I'm sorry. <laughs> how are you, Karen? Arreglo. I don't find stressed. I incapacitated. Susan? Why? What happened? The last weekend, the work is spelling up. Spelling up. Evelyn, what? Uh, what about you, Susan? Well, we are preparing the end of month for vacations. That is great. How long? Carla. Karen, do you have yes. vacation? Yes, all Easter. Uh, hi, Mauricio. Mauricio creo que tiene problemas de conexión. Entonces decimos... Hello, Mauricio. How are you? No connect. Yeah, y Mauricio dice, yes, yes, I'm fine. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> I'm hurry <laughs> up. <laughs> okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. Yes, I am fine. See you later. I am in a hurry. Ah, I am... I'm workplace prepared celebra celebration work work water day on March 22. That's cool. What are you doing? What are challenge of the water cool in your workplace? Yes, with my co-workers and family. What is the challenge? Carry the water who? Jog. 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 Okay, perfect. Ya está ahí llegamos porque se acabó el tiempo. No, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, jog. Do you oh. know what is a jog, guys? This is this is a mug. Este es un mug. Okay. Eh, esas tazas que nos andamos regalando en cada actividad, ¿verdad? Those are mugs. Esas también son mugs. Let's water. But a jog is a rap. Yeah, big one. Pero no, ajá, es que, que realmente quería decir cántaro. Pero ¿qué puedo decir para cántaro? Cántaro. Yes, Alfonso. One moment, please. Uh, yeah, no problem, no problem. 
Está lloviendo, se me moja la ropa. Ok, cool, go ahead, go, go, man. Ok, ok. So. Round yeah. four is round. Yeah, but we got a problem there because when we say jog, estamos hablando de una jarra grande. Yes. And we It's mean fantastic. like, a, no, that's a pitcher. Más que eso. Cantaro es un pitcher. Pitcher. Ah, ok. Aunque pitcher también puede ser este. Entonces sería pitcher challenge. Yeah. And I mean, but pitcher, pitcher is also the one from baseball, but also pitcher is a, que conste, yo no sabía, mi Vladimir me contó, lo que llamaban este, como unas rotas así grandotas que llamaban jirafas, mm. ok, mm -hmm. those are long <laughs> and tall and they are for beers, they fit like five or six beers on it, caben como unas cinco o seis cervezas en eso. That's also a pitcher. Pues, The famous giraffe. Un amigo yeah. me contó. También un pitcher es un, un pichel. Ah, un pichel. Yes. Pero y entonces, ¿cuál se Jog, asemeja más al Jog, término de cántaro? Uh, pitcher. It, ok. Porque jog es, jog es una jarra, pero mm. es una jarra grande. Un poco más de medio litro, puede ser hasta un litro. Ah, ok. Ok, let's see, very well done. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see who's next group. Let's see, Alfonso is busy. So, Arvin, Edwin, Ivania, and Luis. Eh, voy a compartir la pantalla, teacher. Perfect, hurry up, hurry up. Ok, eso. Hello, how are you doing, Luis? I'm fine. You, Ivania? I am sorry, Dave. We watch Joe and Jordi. Happy. Hi, excuse me, tenía problema. I had a busy day. What are you plans for Saturday? I am working all day, and you? I am going to watch my car. And you, Ivania? I work on Saturday morning. In the afternoon, I go to my parents. Oh, really? In my house, uh, I am working on weekend. Hey, Arvin, where is your day off? Uh, I usually Tuesday and, and Luis, when do you do you days off? I rest all weekend. Ivania, do you work in Sunday? No, I don't. Sunday my days are goodbye. See you Everybody. later, guys. Bye. Goodbye. Nice to see you. Ow. It's finishing. Finished. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Now, a little something. I'm sorry that I didn't do it before. Uh, los que tengan esas capturas me las envían porque sí he visto un par de correcciones pero por cuestión de tiempo no las voy a hacer en este momento They're going, las voy a enviar envíenmelas en el grupo así se las corrijo y se las ubico en el grupo ok, okay. let's continue let's see next group is uh, Sandra Vladimir and Walter ok Walter Could you share your screen, please? Give me a second. It's no. Yes. Okay. How are you, Walter? I'm fine. And you? Everything is good. Sandra. How was your day? Very good. What are you doing? What are you doing making this weekend? Just I rest all afternoon because I will go in the morning on Saturday. What will you, you do this weekend, Vladimir? 
Well, I'm working this Saturday because we have a mighty nice for a little group of observers. How about you, Sandra? Do you have plans for this weekend? I am celebrating my nephew's birthday. See you later, guys. Bye, Sandra. Bye, Walter. See you later, guys. Okay, teacher. Excellent. Well done. Very well done, guys. Congratulations. Don't forget to send it to me. Now, let's see. Sonia Alfonso and who else was there? Elizabeth. It's ready, Alfonso. Is it ready? Okay. I'm a star. I, hi, Alfonso. What activities are you doing in your company? Hi, Sonia. An activity in my company is um, <clears throat> so is the more activities. The next week, um, here's activity um, installation elevator. And you, Sonia? And my work in selling an automatic, automatic power plant of more capacity. Very good. And what about you, Elizabeth? In my company, there is more movement. There are more activity we had early. Okay. Um, see you later. Bye. Okay. Thank you. See you later. Okay, okay, very well done, guys. Excellent. Uh, congratulations. It's the first activity we do, and I congratulate you for your effort. I know it's not easy. Uh, los felicito. Es la primera actividad de este tipo que hacemos. Una actividad ya siendo más de dos personas se vuelve un poquito más compleja. Eh, la han desarrollado muy bien. En pronunciación, algunos detalles, igual a la hora de estructurar oraciones. But very well done. Now, the goal for next activities, la meta para las próximas, is to do it without reading. La meta próxima va a ser hacerlas sin reading, ¿ok? But it was excellent, excellent. No, I'm talking in general, ¿ok? No. So, it was excellent, guys. A perfect activity. I congratulate you all. Les felicito a todos. And I remind you, please, that... Tomorrow I am getting, I am checking the platform. So if you haven't finished, please do. Uh, due to some uh, personal situations, perhaps tomorrow, debido a unas cuestiones personales, el día de mañana por la noche, sí, me va a ser un poquito difícil eh, eh, colaborar. There's no more activities for you. There's no homework. Just send me the activities, okay? Eh, con algunos de ustedes tengo unas actividades pendientes. Tomorrow morning, mañana por la mañana me esperan con más información. Ok. Eh, for the rest of you, thank you very much. I, I hope to see you on Monday. Los espero el lunes. Sandra, you stay with me, ok. So, yes, teacher. See you guys. Take care. Have a good night. See Enjoy you. your Have weekend. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. I have a question, teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, Spanish. Uh, la otra semana va a ser como la semana complicada para mí. For, for installation of the elevator. Okay, este... Uh, Yo lo espero. Si no puede conectarse cabal al inicio de la clase, conéctese cuando pueda. En... Probable, probablemente. Ok. Hello, my dear Sandra. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Ok, Sandra, tell me, how are we doing with the English classes? How do you feel? ¿Cómo nos sentimos? Do you need help with something in special? ¿Hay algo en especial en lo que sintamos mm, nos está costando? Mm, un poco a la hora de, de, de en español, teacher, porque me cuesta. 
Yeah, un tell poco me. a la hora de, de entender lo de lo, las explicaciones con lo de los temas. Tengo dudas con lo del presente continuo, con lo de ahora, que hablaba de lo de, de temporal y de situaciones, creo que es verdad. Sí, hablamos de temporary situations. Cuando hablamos de temporary situations, son actividades que están sucediendo, pero que, ¿cómo le explico? Eh, usted me dice, fíjese que en esta semana estamos haciendo, estamos revisando. Eh, oh, bueno, usted me dice, estamos preparando el cierre de mes. Estamos preparando el cierre de mes en estos días. Es una actividad que está sucediendo por un periodo de tiempo, pero ese periodo de tiempo is going to finish. Ese periodo de tiempo va a terminar. Right? Sí. It's not like, it's not, a, it's not a routine. No es una rutina. Because that happens just for a short period of time. Sucede por un periodo corto de tiempo. ¿Sí? Pero también se puede dar el futuro, ¿verdad? Así como proyectos que se puedan implementar en... No sé, a corto largo plazo. Yes, the situation is this. Simple uh, present continuous can be used to express. El presente continuo se utiliza para expresar. Situations that are happening right in this moment. Cosas que están pasando en este preciso instante. Like, I'm talking to you. Yo estoy hablando con usted, right? That is happening right now. Eso está sucediendo right now, en este momento. You are listening to me. Usted está escuchándome. I am watching your picture. Yo estoy viendo su fotografía. You see? Esa es, esa es una de las aplicaciones. Second application. When you talk about plans or arrangements. Okay. Uh, on Monday, I am, uh, no, let's see. Next Friday, we are taking the final exam. Escucho? We are taking the final exam. Estoy usando el presente continuo, pero lo utilizo para un plan futuro, algo que ya está programado para el futuro. Ya está arranged. ¿Cómo sé que lo estoy usando para el futuro? Oh, next Friday. Estoy hablando del próximo viernes. Sí. La fecha futura. La time expression me dice que es futuro. Y cuando yo digo, these days, at the moment, estoy hablando de un periodo de tiempo que no ha terminado, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Pero que sí va a terminar. Okay. That's the idea. Is it clearer now? Un poquito más claro ahora. Sí, 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 sí. El, lo del verbo siempre va a ir entonces con el ing, ¿verdad? Cuando yes. Hablando... Remember, let me show you something. Déjeme mostrarle algo. Vamos a ver. I will share with you the screen. Ok. The tense, el tiempo, el tiempo que utilizamos, it's always the, hold on. Ok. The tense we use, it's always present continuous. Siempre estamos hablando en present continu continuous. Ok. Now, present continuous. How do we structure it? ¿Cómo se estructura? You have subject. Okay? Uh -huh. um, plus, además del sujeto, usted tiene auxiliary. Un verbo auxiliar. The auxiliary is. El verbo ser o estar. The verb be. Pero... Como el verbo ser o estar tiene la peculiaridad que tiene tres formas distintas para el presente. Am, o sea, estamos hablando de am, is, are. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? Luego, a continuación, podemos ver bien la, mira bien la pantalla. Sí, veo bien, gracias. Perfecto. Ok, vamos a... Esto le da más nitidez cuando quito mi, mi cámara. Ok. Sí. Luego tenemos el verbo principal, the main verb. Hold on. Tenemos el verbo principal. Ese verbo principal. Uh, 
Algunos dicen que está en gerundio, pero no es cierto. El verbo está en su forma y en eje. Gramaticalmente esto se llama el presente participio, pero no le interesa a usted eso. Le interesa que es el verbo en ING. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Y luego viene el complement. Eso es presente continuo. La estructura. Ahora bien, parte del complement. Parte del complement puede ser una time expression. Como parte del complemento puede llevar una time expression. Y las time expressions son interesantes por esto, mire. Porque la time expression es la que nos dice en un momento, nos dice cuándo está sucediendo algo. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver de qué estoy hablando. Yo le digo, I am teaching a class right now. Yo estoy dando una clase en este momento, ¿ok? Veamos, vamos a ver las partes de la oración. Look, subject, mm -hmm. auxiliary, am mm -hmm. um, is or are, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Verb in ing. Ahora bien, all this is the complement. Todo esto es el complemento. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Sí. Pero como parte del complemento, tengo yo esto que está aquí, mire, ve. Que es la time okay. expression. ¿Sí me explico? Sí. O sea, yo tengo acá la time expression, pero la time expression forma parte de el complement, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. En este caso, la time expression es en este momento, right now. Entonces, right now quiere decir, dijimos, ahorita, en este instante. Estamos usando el presente continuo. Para algo que está sucediendo en este momento. Ahora vea usted la siguiente oración. Ok. We are having a test tomorrow. En este caso, si usted, if you can notice, si usted se fija, we are having sujeto, auxiliar, Verb in ING, complemento, ¿verdad? Okay. ¿Vamos bien hasta ahí? Sí, vamos bien. Vaya, y luego tengo el tomorrow. ¿Qué es el tomorrow? Es una time expression. Uh -huh. Nuevamente tenemos una time expression. Solo que esta time expression, ¿a qué momento nos refiere? Esta nos mandaba al presente. Esta... Al futuro, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, entonces tenemos una aplicación distinta. Usamos el presente progresivo, el presente continuo para expresar algo que está sucediendo en el momento que se dice to express something that is happening in the future, ¿ok? Pero es un future, es un plan, un futuro planeado. And look, una de las oraciones que aparecen en el manual. I am... Reading a book these days. Estos días, I am reading a book. Vamos de nuevo. These days es una time expression, ¿verdad? Yeah. Solo que, si usted se recuerda en la clase cuando decimos these days, estos días, no, está, no necesariamente está sucediendo en el momento que uno lo dice. Como por ejemplo yo le digo Oh, I am reading actually two books these days. Estos días estoy leyendo dos libros, fíjese. A mí me gusta mucho leer. I am reading two books these days. No está sucediendo en este momento porque yo estoy hablando con usted en este momento. No estoy leyendo un libro, right? Yeah. 
no está, no es algo, no es un futuro planeado, porque lo comencé a hacer hace un par de días, he leído este día, voy a leer por un par de días más mientras termino los libros, pero los voy a terminar pronto. Entonces, en este caso, estoy usando el presente continuo para hablar de una actividad temporal. Ah, ya. Ahora sí. Uh -huh. Sí. Este. ¿Gusta una captura? Sí, la voy a tomar. ¿La va a tomar? Perfecto. Sí. Ya está. Ya la tengo. Ok, perfecto. Tell me, is there anything else I could help you with? ¿Hay algo más con lo que le pueda ayudar? No, teacher, eso es todo, eso tenía duda. Ok, perfect. Just give me a second. Solo un instante. Ok, perfect. Okie dokie. Is it clear now? Ahora sí. Ahora sí, sí, sí ya aclaré esto. Perfect, Lo excellent. Mm -hmm. Great. And remember, if you need extra explanations, just let me know. Si necesita algunas explicaciones extra, solo hágamelo saber. Ok. I will gladly can help you. Y con gusto le ayudo. Gracias, de acuerdo, teacher. Yo lo tomo en cuenta. Ok. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Gracias. Have a good weekend. Bye bye. Gracias, igual, teacher. Feliz noche. Que descanse. Thanks. Okay, let's see. Well, 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 let's see. This is the end of the week. We have helped our students. Uh, see you next week. Take care. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.